the DJI Mavic Air. What an awesome little bit of technology this thing is now. Unfortunately, it's not without its uh, small issues, but thankfully the, uh, the two main issues that I've had with it I've been able to fix. So just in case anyone's having the same problems, these are the fixes that work for me. And hopefully by putting this video up on YouTube, it'll help uh, anyone who's sort of searching for the same answers that I was. The first problem I had with it uh, was after a small crash. It still seemed to fly just fine and everything. But after a couple of flights after that crash, I noticed that the horizon was always pretty badly off kilter. Like, it, you know, the, it's like the gimbal wouldn't level properly. Now, you could, I could get it straight by adjusting it and, and calibrating it. And I calibrated the IMU over and over and over and, and stuff. And it, it would, it would, I could get it straight, but then as I yawed the camera around, it would it would go off kilter again. You know, it was really, um, it was really bad. You know, you're trying to get a nice shot with the camera and, you know, if it's just, it's not straight, it's it's pretty much worthless. Okay, so, so I searched and searched and I couldn't find any definitive answers about why it was doing this. Now, calibrating the IMU always completed without throwing in any errors or anything like that. Uh, it was only after a while that I finally noticed that ACC0 on the sensors page was showing data error. So I think that got jammed or damaged in the crash somehow. It has redundancy obviously so ACC1 is the second uh, accelerometer so it's just running off that one. So that was the problem. Eventually I found that that was the problem and I needed to fix it so I actually ordered a new IMU. Um, they're only about $30 off eBay. But while I was waiting for that to be delivered I ended up finding uh, another guy on YouTube that uh, said you can fix a jammed IMU just by heating it up. So um, I took the drone apart, which is actually pretty easy um, compared to the old DJI Spark. I find that this this is actually way more easier to pull apart and put back together. It's not that hard at all. I'm not going to go into how to pull it apart here. There's um, a link in the description that a tear down video that I used. Once you lift that main board out, uh, attached to the bottom of it at the back end. Uh, you'll find the IMU which looks like this. Once you got that off, uh, you need to pull it apart. So you need to remove this part here which is just attached with the four rubber, uh, rubberized sort of mounts. They just pull out and then you'll find a screw at one end to take out and then, uh, and then you've got to gently prise it open. Um, and inside there you'll find this uh, blue goopy looking stuff. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what it is but it's uh, sort of looks like heat sink grease or something like that. But anyway, I cleaned it and uh, heated it up with a hairdryer, quite hot. I just gave it some taps just in case there was something inside that was jammed. I'm not really sure how the accelerometers work. After that, put it all back together and hey presto, everything's working fine. So yeah, I, I can't really say how how hot you need to make it. I, I didn't, you know, I just gave it a, a quite a good blast with the hairdryer. No, it's a piece of plastic, you don't want to melt it and put it that way. So yeah, that was the, the fix for the, the first problem. Now the second problem I had was actually with the uh, controller. I will say that I, I did actually buy this drone second hand. It, it hadn't had that much use, um, but I don't know how long it had been sitting around. Now, the problem that I was having with it was basically just a glitchy controller. Uh, so when I wanted to, to yaw the, the drone around, say, to the left, but sometimes I'd hit left just to turn it and it would go up as well as turning to the left. So it was like there was like a cross signal there somewhere. And likewise, yawing to the right, it would the drone would drop. Not something that you want to have happen when you're hovering underneath something or whatever. You know, you, you want it to do what you tell it to do, not, not what it wants to do sort of thing. As well as uh, another problem was I'd notice sometimes I'd be trying to fly the drone straight, straight ahead, and it would slowly yaw to the right by itself without me even touching the steering or yeah, something wasn't right with the with the controller. After googling or, and and searching YouTube and stuff for for uh, answers on that, I finally found a guy who had fixed similar sort of not exactly the same, but I thought it was worth a try. Me trying to fix my problems with what he did. Um, he just pulled the uh, controller down and actually cleaned the, the stick contacts inside uh, with some contact cleaner, some electrical uh, contact cleaner. These are quite easy to pull apart as well and I'll link that video below. But yeah, basically you just um, pull it all apart, get the switches themselves out, just give those contacts a really good clean with contact cleaner, wiggle them around, move them around so that it all gets in there. And, uh, and since I've done that, 
it's just it's been flawless um so yeah anyway i hope uh i hope this video has helped out someone out there who's got you know the same drone and having the same kind of problems um i'll leave you with a little bit of footage from the awesome mavic air thanks for watching guys cheers